is it true is it true people welcome back welcome to the technus corner so is it true people i've got myself this epos gsp 370 gaming series gcp 370 gaming series headphones they have a hundred hour battery life i love them to death love them to death people very comfy you know if you can forgive the sound quality for work wise as a flat sound very well placed to be my all-time favorite headphones got a little gap in the center there for little noggin here but apart from that being said is it true is it true because you're not here for those you're here for the HyperX cloud alpha wireless headphones with notoriously a 300 hour plus battery life so let's take a closer look Let's go. So it's a, it's a boiling day today, honestly. But that being said, top right over here, we've got top left over here, or your right, my left. It's gone now. Our newest video has been uploaded. Now look, these are, these are pretty snazzy these epos ones i'll tell you that much very light very lack of luster durable and i hope they last ages i've got cups for them i've got a second pair of cups for these so they should last me a fair noggin of time but they've got a hundred hour battery life on them and with a hundred hours i can sit and forget about you know that and when i'm working on videos or when i'm just working on stuff literally for ages do they last now when I heard about the HyperX, okay, Cloud Alpha Wireless, the new version this year that's been released, 300 hours battery life. Now, to cut a long story short, the model number is 4P5D4AA, okay, 4P5D4AA, and we're going to get into a bit of unboxing, but before, before we unbox what's in the box, at the Technus Corner, I'm your host, Sabluka, welcome all. Uh, let's have a let's have a little discussion over what it is exactly that we are getting. Okay, this is a significant improvement over the previous version, which had a battery life of up to about thirty hours. Okay, in terms of other specification, a HyperX Cloud Alpha Wireless is a wireless gaming headset that is designed for comfort and performance. It has a frequency response of thirteen hertz to 27,000 hertz and a sensitivity of one hundred and seven decibel and an impedance of 32 ohms. One of the standout features of the HyperX Cloud Alpha Wireless is its custom-tuned HyperX Virtual 7.1 surround sound, which provides an immersive gaming experience. It also has noise cancelling microphone for clear in-game communication and memory foam ear cushions for comfort during long gaming sessions. The new version of the HyperX Cloud Alpha Wireless stands out for its combination of long battery life comfort performance and value it is competitively priced and offers a range of features that are tailored for gaming such as virtual 7.1 surround sound and noise cancelling microphone it also has one of the more comfortable gaming headsets on the market thanks to its memory foam ear cushion overall the hyperx cloud alpha wireless is a solid choice for gamers looking for high quality wireless headset with a long battery life is what i'd say guys if all is above board okay guys because so i'm not a hyperx shield by any means i've got a lot of hyperx products and they've been around for donkey's years okay so that the the premium stuff you hope is on a premium level and i don't mind about the reduced factor that these uh neo diamond uh drivers are a little bit smaller than what we're used to in this day and age on a headphone this large for the battery life of 300 hours plus that's insane people 300 hours plus it says it right there guys says it right there 300 hours okay that being said apologize if i sweat in that let's take a closer look at um someone that may have verified this because this essentially i am just unboxing and verifying the specs but unfortunately we don't have 300 hours in this video to verify some things go to our pc mag for example this is pc mag in australia and this is from May the 27th, 2022, guys. So HyperX claims its cloud alpha wireless game has said offers 300 hours of battery life. Sounds like over-the-top marketing hype, but actually turns out to be 
true okay so the the conventional battery life of these type of headsets are between 20 and 50 hours okay it's hard to believe a company could suddenly jump to 300 hours it's not because i've been using 100 hour ones currently which are a lot smaller but here's um the headset only costs 200 dollars and that's i believe 200 us dollars so 300 australian dollars hardware tear down specialist i fix it was asked if it was actually true and if so hyperx had achieved such a feat. sure enough the explanation was forthcoming in the video below so they they tested it validated it here's the reasons for it up to about 330 hours you can get from it and there's lower consumption like implemented chips and things like that which are inside which are in relation to it you know smaller near diamond headset like 50 millimeter rather than 53 millimeter and essentially um you know hyperx really did set the bar higher with his headset and should be commended for doing so and they say it themselves guys so um if we have a look over here dts gaming headset where to buy 4P5D4AA is the SQU number that you're looking for. This is all the stuff that you get in the box and whatnot. So, yeah, it is it true? Is it true, people? Well, I'll tell you what, if it's not, then you're going to hear about it from me straight away in relation to a follow-up to this video, okay? But with that being said, let's unopen it. Let's open it up and see how well they fare and get them on charge for a proper charge for the first first use case. So let's get a closer look, guys. All righty. All righty, doji. So if you're after some decent ones that have got good rep, uh, GSP370, gaming series epos synthesizer headphones they've got 100 hours and that lasts forever right but with that said we've got these so let's just get our trusty technos corner official unboxing tool of the trade and let's let's have a closer look at what we're dealing with here all righty That should be about all we need to do. Actually, before we continue on, general marketing spiel and whatnot. Up to 300 hours specified DTS headphones X, spatial sound audio, 50 millimeter dual chamber drivers, memory foam, detachable mic with LED mic mute and mic monitoring, 2.4 gigahertz gaming grade wireless. So it's not Bluetooth, it's 2.4 gigahertz, guys. Let's open this up. And what we are greeted with HyperX has you covered. Um, some propaganda material. Congratulations on joining the HyperX family. Hashtag HyperX family. And HyperX Cloud Apple Wireless Quick Start Guide. And that aside, I'm going to get them on charge, essentially, as quickly as possible. And HyperX, generally speaking, when it comes to the internals, per se, aren't known for... Well, we've got our two-year warranty specification of stuff which is written on the box. That's interesting. But aren't known for, generally speaking, uh, much in relation to their packaging long term. But that's all right, as long as it's quality. So let's open this up over here. And ooh, la la. What's that smell? It smells like fresh. It smells like fresh, people. So straight off the bat, one thing, I don't, one thing I don't like about it is the red. I wish it just had a black, but that, that's all right. The biggest can't be choosers for 300 hours. That's what we get. So we can see the dongle. Here's a dongle for the uh, 2.4 gigahertz low latency quick connection per se. And there isn't much more to it except for a detachable mic that also will have a pod that is extremely invasive quite large as you can see we'll lift this out accordingly and we've got peels both on the right and left cups okay with keeping this in mind it's traditionally not going to be rgb spastic that's one way they have managed to keep these working for so long in relation to the 300 hours and i'm not going to do the peels just yet we'll hopefully this is okay i see i see so there they are there guys as you can see this is as big as they get just get them the right 
length for myself. We also do have a, so noise reduction, I'll tell you that much. Um, we also do have a USB-C to USB-A standard charging cable, um, which isn't very long, but will have to do the job for 300 hours. So hopefully you haven't got them on for too long in relation to charge. So um, that's about all we have to showcase in relation to these. Let's have a look at them on my head first, so, eh? So I've already got them on and not too invasive, I have to be honest. Uh, very comfortable. I When I cup them around my ears, uh, this memory foam is very dense in the sense that it's noise cancelling a lot of stuff. Um, my hair isn't the best. It's quite very hot in here. But with that said, there we go, guys. Not much wiggle room, and I've got a fairly large head, and you can make this a lot smaller still. So, look, I'm going to get these on charge, okay? And I'm going to charge them for an extensive period of time, uh, just to make sure that the battery life is uh, for as long as possible. Without the pod filter, these microphones seems okay. I believe it's only got, I think it's got 50 hertz uh, range it picks up on the low frequency, so it's quite dynamic as well. So that's something to consider. But apart from that, guys and girls, what more can I say except why did the wireless headphones go to therapy? Because they had Bluetooth issues. And these, on the other hand, aren't Bluetooth. They're 2.4 gigahertz dedicated dongle wireless headphones. So these won't have Bluetooth issue, just like those wireless headphones that had to go to therapy, guys. My name's Saluka. Thanks for joining us for another unboxing video. Slight overview at the Technus Corner. And if they don't last 300 hours, you're going to hear from me. So yeah, peace out. Bye. <laughs>